guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial, we are going to make a small modification to the flow that we have built previously. So currently what's happening is, let's say if I create a lead, then what happens is it just goes ahead and reload the screen. I know in the background, a lead has been created, right? So what I meant by that is, for example, if I go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and check our lead records here. So we have total of about, uh, if I go over and uh, look at all, and it has about 21 lead records I have in the system. Now what happens is if I go ahead and uh, enter a new lead record, and this time I'm going to say the lead name is Ramesh, and he works with a company called USAA. Okay, so this is going to be the information, and then I'm going to hit the next here. So what's happening is I do not know if the lead has been created because there is no successful message or anything of that sort that is displayed now. So what I know it has been created in the background because if I go over to the leads, I will see that there have been another record got added and now it's number 22. So what do I want here is that once a lead has been created, I want the link to go to the lead to be displayed and then I can click on that lead and go over to that newly created lead. Okay, so that is what I want. So the next screen that I want is the lead ID, the link to go to that particular newly created lead should be displayed. And then when if, I, if a user clicks on that, then he will be taken to that particular lead record. So how do we do that? So first thing is we will go back to our flow that we created and this is what the flow looks like. Now, after the lead has been created, so this is the create record element that we dropped and what this element is doing, it is creating the lead record. Now, what about the ID of this newly created record that you can access through this element itself? Okay, you don't need a new variable to store that particular value that got the lead ID. Okay, so what do I mean here is, so let's say we drop another screen element here. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the screen element. And here I'll say, so this is my screen and I'm going to drop a display text because I don't want a user to enter anything. I wanted to display the link to that particular lead that we create. Okay, so what do I do here is I'm going to say lead successfully created. This is going to be the API name. And uh, here the label for that is going to be lead successful lead success creation okay so the lead has been successfully created and that's it now here if I, whatever you wanted to enter you can put it here so here i'm going to say lead successfully created this is going to be displayed on the screen now if you want to make it bold you can do that like you can use a bold tag here if you want and let's say if you wanted to have in hyperlink, okay, so what do I mean by that? I wanted to make sure that the newly created ID or you can click on this and you can go to that newly created record. Here, what will I do? I'm going to go ahead and use this hyperlink, okay? So there is this hyperlink available, so I'm going to click on it and it'll ask me where do you want it to go? When the user clicks on it, where do you want it to go? So what will I do here is I'm going to get let's say if i want to pick up any lead uh, this is the url right so this is a static id right this is a fixed id but i want this id to be replaced by the newly created lead id so i'm going to go ahead and copy this exact url and i'm going to go back to my flows and i'm pasting it over here so first i'm going to go ahead and select this i'm going to choose this and then here but this is not the ID I want, right? This is a fixed ID. I want it to get replaced by the newly created ID. And how do I do that? There is a way to do it. So you can capture the newly created ID. There is a resource. And if you click on that, you can see if you scroll down, there is a variable which we did not create it, but it automatically got created. And that variable is telling us that it stores the lead ID from the create lead record. So variable is nothing but a place to store any information that you want to be used later on. So the variable has different types. If the variable is storing a date, then you can store, you can create a date variable. If the variable is storing an ID, you can create a text variable, things of that sort. So here the lead ID from create or 
lead record this variable i did not create it automatically got created whenever i added that record create element on the screen so this variable has nothing but the id of the lead that we created that we are going to be creating okay so this is what the automatically it's going to have so i'm going to use this this is the one i'm going to copy and i'm going to go back to this link again and here i'm going to replace this id which is a fixed id with this newly created record id which gets stored into this resource so this resource has the id of the newly created lead and then i'm going to hit the save and i have going to go ahead and remove this because i don't need it so this is how the link would look like okay and now i'm going to go ahead and hit the done here and uh, we have to connect these two elements together so this is the create record now this create record is going to create a lead record and it's going to generate a lead id and what we are doing here in the screen element is we are displaying that lead id basically we're making a hyperlink and hyperlink is nothing but the link of that so if you go here this is the link to access the newly created record okay so once you click on it it'll automatically take you to the newly created record let's go ahead and uh, save it so we're going to go ahead and save this one and now we will also if you want to run it you can run it right here without activating it so if i wanted to run it and make sure a lead gets created successfully before activating it so here i'm going to enter the lead name as jason and the company name is uh, cardinals okay cardinals limited this is the name of the company and then hit the next button now what happens is it automatically created this successfully created now if you click on it it will take you over to this lead record that we just created it says company is cardinals limited and the lead is jason okay it has created it for you now going back to the flow one thing i noticed is this bold was not being properly being utilized so what i will do is i'm going to get rid of these bold tag and want to make sure my link is still valid pretty much good and if i want to bold this i'm just going to select the text and i'm going to make it like this okay that's what it is and then i'm going to put a if you want an underline you can do it but this is how i'm going to do it. and then hit the save and now you can check one more time what is going on so here i'm going to say kim classics okay so this is going to be the classics limited this is the name of the company and then hit the next now a lead has been created so when you click on this you can go ahead and uh, it will take you to the newly created record okay so this is what it is doing now let's go ahead and activate this flow so we're going to go ahead and activate it and now we can do the same exact thing from our home page so currently if i go over to the leads if i go over to the lead staff you will see we have total of about 24 items okay now we're going to add another item here from this home page initially what was happening whenever a lead got created it automatically resets this page right so we didn't know in the background what happened because there was not a any successful message now here if i say the lead name that i'm going to create is manish and then the company name would be m m okay this is going to be the m m designers this is going to be the company name and then hit the next once you hit the next it automatically gives me a message saying lead successfully created and it's in hyperlink so when i click on it it will take me to the newly created lead record here so this is a small upgrade that we did we displaying a successful message on the screen and also along with that we are showcasing the link of the newly created lead so that is more user friendly if user wants to figure out what is the lead id and uh, which lead got created and it want to go ahead and take a look at the newly created lead you can by having that hyperlink and then the hyperlink is been created using this link tab here this is the one and when you click on it it will automatically show you the url that it will take you to okay so this is the url it's nothing but the url to go to a lead record and the id is dynamically going to be get replaced with the id of the lead that we are creating okay i hope you're enjoying these tutorials i'm going to see you guys in the next tutorial thank you so much take care